and a very warm welcome as Red Bull launched the RB20 to the world. And surely this team is favourite for the title once again. Um, yeah, a live event um, as Red Bull launched the RB20. And yeah, let's get the pictures up. Here we are. Here's the RB20 in all its glory. Red Bull quick to show a lot. Uh, the live event, it was due showing a lot of the team's history. Given 20 years in F1 since they renamed. And yeah, a lot of history lesson about the team. David Coulthard getting the first podium for Red Bull in Monaco. And yeah, showing all the history of the team. Sebastian winning his four titles. Max winning titles. Christian Horner was present. Looked very shaky and not his usual self. We heard from Christian. We heard from DC, Adrian Newey. Then we saw the academy drivers, which... Um, and then we finally got to the main drivers that we want to actually see. But, yeah. Um, interesting. They've gone for a more aggressive concept, Red Bull. And no side pod inlets, which is interesting, to say the least. This car is going to dominate in 2024. For me, it's cut and paste, copy and paste, um, they're going to dominate again this season. There's no doubt in, in my mind, even if Horner steps down, they'll still be in prime condition. Horner was present. He looked cagey. He looked edgy. Does he already know he's got to step down? But, yeah, they tried to put on the front, I'm guessing, stand up. Obviously, no questions were directed to Horner about his allegations. Obviously being briefed not to ask him about that. But yeah, the final team to launch. That is it. The talking is over. Now it's time for testing in a couple of days. That's going to be interesting. Testing. And then finally, Bahrain race one. Comment down below your thoughts on the Red Bull, the RB20. Um, yeah, looks, I mean, you know what you're going to get with a Red Bull livery. Same every year, but yeah, no side pod inlets is interesting. And they've gone for an aggressive concept. Now, technical technical side, uh, history, drivers, stuff like this, reaction, passion. But yeah, the technical side, I'm not so strong on. Um, yeah, I'm here to watch aggressive overtaking, adrenaline. We need to see better racing for me in 24. I'm getting more and more excited. So there we have it. All the car launches are done. We've covered every single one of them. Tomorrow, we will cover deliveries. I'll rate them. And then it's just getting closer and closer. We react to testing. Then we'll have a preview for Bahrain. Qualifying reaction, race reaction, and driver ratings. And let the season begin. I fully expect Red Bull to dominate in 24. Um, yeah. Another new -y masterpiece, probably, but we will and see. Thanks for watching. Comment down below your thoughts on the RB20. Yeah, for me, this team is going to dominate once again. And yeah, thanks for the support. Join me tomorrow for liveries.